Hello everyone and welcome to the RV Inspection and Care podcast and video. Today we're going to be talking about the difference between RV converters and RV inverters. Now most RVs have multiple power sources in them and that allows them to go almost anywhere you want to go and have useful power to run the items in your RV. But RV electrical systems are very often misunderstood by the RV owners. In fact, many owners don't really know what a converter is and what an inverter is, and you'll hear them using the terms interchangeably. It's really no shame that you don't know that, if that's the case, because this kind of equipment is not really used in normal homes that are plugged into the power grid. So that's the purpose of this video, to help explain the basics of converters and inverters and what you really need to know. Now, let's start out by discussing RV power. And the power in an RV actually comes in two main forms. The first is direct current, abbreviated by DC. And the second is alternating current, abbreviated by AC. Now, alternating current is what your home usually uses. That's what's sent to it by a power plant or by the grid that it's plugged into. So when you take a device and you plug it into the wall socket at home, most likely you're getting alternating current to run it. Here's the problem with alternating current and RVs. It can't be stored in its present form and taken with you on a mobile basis. For that, you need direct current. It can be stored in batteries, and then the batteries can go with you on a mobile basis. But RVs power the same 120 volt items that you use at home. Things like televisions and microwaves and washers and dryers and so on. Now, when you're plugged into shore power, for instance, if you're at a campground or a campsite, then you're going to get the alternating current that you need to run those items. But RV batteries and the 12 volt system will also be running the lights in your RV, the water pump, the furnace, and smaller items like that that run on 12 volt direct current instead of 120 volt alternating current. The problem with batteries is battery power doesn't last forever. It's finite in a battery. So when power goes out of a battery, it has to be replenished or recharged. And here is where the converter comes in because you're going to find converters in almost all RVs out there. Their purpose is to take shore power, that 120 volt alternating current that comes from the grid, and then change it to 12 volt direct current to recharge your batteries if needed, and to run all the 12 volt items in the RV. Now, when the batteries finally reach a fully charged state, then it maintains them at that level. So you see shore power lets you run both 12 volt items in your RV and 120 volt items in the RV at the same time because of the converter. But RVs are not always plugged into shore power. So what happens when you take the RV on the road, when you're traveling? What happens when you're camping in an area that doesn't have a plug-in? Like, for instance, if you're boondocking off-grid. Well, your batteries are still going to run those 12-volt items in the RV. But now... How do you operate those larger 
120 volt alternating current items. In other words, how do you run your TV now, the coffee pot? How do you recharge your electronic devices now? They don't run on 12 volt direct current. Well, here is where the inverter comes in because now its job is to take the power stored in that battery and then change it from 12 volt direct current to 120 volt alternating current. And that way it can also run those uh, alternating current devices in the RV. Now, inverters are not found in all RVs. Remember, we said that you pretty much find converters in almost any RV out there. Well, inverters are found usually in the higher line RVs, the ones that are a little more expensive. So it's possible that you may have to install an inverter in your RV. If you do, you need to figure out what size inverter you're going to need. Now here's a general rule of thumb about how you can do that. 120 volt alternating current devices usually have a label on them somewhere that tells you how many watts of power they consume when they're running. So look for those labels, add up the watts that could be used by all the devices you might use at the same time in your RV. Then add about another 20% just to be safe, a little extra, and then you can determine the size of the inverter. So let's give you an example. Suppose the 120 volt devices that you think you'll use at the same time in your RV total up to about 400 watts. Well then add 20% and 20% of 400 is 80. So that's 480 watts of inverter power you need. And that means if you get about a 500 watt inverter, then you should be in pretty good shape at that point. So that's how you can figure out the size of inverter that works for your particular needs. One thing to warn though, inverters are not efficient. There's energy that's lost in that change from 12 volt direct current to 120 volt alternating current. And that means that when you're using your inverter, you actually deplete your batteries faster than if you were just using the battery power for direct current alone. What that means is this, only turn on your inverter when you really need it. When you need to run those 120 volt devices, and that way you can make your batteries last longer. Now, what happens though when your battery is all depleted, the battery power is gone? Well, this is a situation that boondockers face on a regular basis, and they have two main choices that they can use. Number one, boondockers can use solar power. So they have solar panels that take the power from the sun and then transfer that into the batteries. And that way they don't have to break camp and then go plug into shore power somewhere and use the converter to power the batteries back up. They can stay right where they are and recharge their batteries. Now, another solution on that is to use a generator, either a portable one, or you could use one that's in your RV and they will recharge your battery as well. Well, I think you can see that the RV power system in most RVs is very flexible. It allows you to camp almost anywhere you want to go and enjoy all the things your RV has to help you have a good camping experience. And hopefully this video has helped you understand better what a converter is and what it does and what an inverter is and what it does. 
And if we have helped you understand that better, then the video has done its job. And that's it for now. Have safe and happy travels, my friends. Until next time. Thank you.